What are DCF and WAC? Well, a DCF takes a cash flow occurring in the future and calculates how much would be paid for it today. So it's an important valuation technique. Let's have a look at an example. Imagine investing 100 today and you require a 10% return. Well, at time period zero, your cash flow out from you is 100 and that 10% return means that your investment is going to have to grow. So we're going to multiply that 100 by 1 plus 10% or 1.1. That means at time period 1, i.e. one year from today, our investment will be worth 110. Then another year on, after another 10%, it'll be worth 121. And then at the end of year three, at the end of this project, it'll be worth 133.1. And that means your cash flow will be paid out to you and you'll have received three years worth of a 10% return. Great. But what if it happens in reverse? You are offered 133.1 in three years time and you require a 10% return. How much should you pay now? Well, you have to start at year three. You have to imagine the cash flow is coming to you, 133.1, but that has to represent three years worth of 10% return. So how do I get back to the amount that I should invest today? Well, I need to divide by one plus my required return, or divide by 1.1 in this example. So that means by year two, it's discounted to 121. By year one, it's discounted to 110. And by year zero or time period zero, it's 100. And that's how much I would pay now in order to secure a cash flow of 133.1 in three years time, assuming I require a 10% return. Now that 100 represents the present value of a 133.1 future cash flow. And that's what a DCF means or a discounted cash flow, taking future cash flows and present valuing them or discounting them to today. Now the investor's 10% required return also represents a cost of capital of 10% for the company being invested in. Of course, you're getting a 10% return to you, but the company is having to pay out this extra money. It's a cost to them, and we call that a cost of capital. When the company sources cash from a variety of places, so maybe an equity investment, but also they've borrowed from a bank, well then a weighted average cost of capital, or WAC, is calculated. And that WAC is the average cost of capital to the company, or the average required return from the investors.